It's time for another shrimp update. Hey YouTube, Brian again coming at you today with an update on uh, all my shrimp tanks. Um, this will be for the month of September 2016 and uh, I guess let's just get started. We'll start over here like we always do on the Crystal Reds. These are the lower grades as you can see there's a ton of them still. Babies everywhere. They're going crazy right now over uh, dinner time. But yeah, this tank, as always, is just uh, thriving. Colonies growing in the hundreds strong. Uh, if anyone is interested in Crystal Reds, uh, let me know. I, I do sell these. I sell the juveniles. I never sell the adults. But uh, yeah, let me know. Next door here is the uh, PRL slash Royal Blue Tiger equals Tybee slash Michelin tank, if that makes sense. But as you can see, um, there's a ton of juvies now growing out. I've got ones that look like Tybees and ones that look like Crystal Reds, so we're going to call those Michelings. I've never been able to see for sure you know what's bred with what so out of respect for the hobby and keeping things pure I'm not gonna sell these and say that they're PRLs when I don't know for sure if they are so but uh, one of the PRL females in here one of the adults is buried up again so there's more babies on the way I counted yesterday and there was about over 40 in here now they're getting to be about the size where I can start shipping them out pretty soon so Keep your eyes open for that. Let me know if you're interested in some Michelings. I won't be selling any of the Thai Bs, but the CRS looking Michelings, I'll, I'll definitely be able to ship those out. Next door here are the um, SS through SSS grade Crystal Reds. I'm gonna grab my chair so I can get down here and get a little more steady, but not much has been going on in here, although oh, my zoom's not going to work. I did find a buried female recently. And I think this is it, but probably won't know for sure until I actually am looking at this on my computer screen. So if it's not, forgive me. But I think I see the eggs in there. But there's just a handful of these of these left in this tank. This colony depleted for some reason several months ago. But these ones have been hanging on and uh, I'm looking forward to um, hopefully some babies uh, that survive and uh, we'll see what we can't do with it. PRL's next door doing good. There's a couple buried females in here. I'm not gonna probably take the time to find them right now. Looking forward to building the... Oh, this might be one of the buried females right there. Of course, the zoom's not going to work because of the plants. It's just picking up the plants instead of the shrimp. But anyway, continuing to uh, keep my fingers crossed with these guys. I had a lot, sold a lot, and uh, now we're just waiting for the colony to re regrow itself. Taiwan Bees, the top tank, is doing very well since I last talked to you. I've, uh, I've had quite a few babies, and the prior babies are definitely growing out and surviving now, so I'm, I'm doing something right. I think it's the increased feeding of powder food. Here's some brand new babies here. Here's some of the month or so old babies, or one of them at least, that's uh, growing out. And then there's some in this mosh pit here too, but so that's a positive sign. 
I was getting pretty frustrated with the Taiwan bees. I wasn't losing them, but I just wasn't growing the colony every time they would have babies. The breeding was slow, first of all. And then when they would have babies, they just they just didn't seem to survive. So, But I'm seeing babies in here of all types. Wine reds, blue bolts, pandas, etc., etc. So, yeah, that's good news. Tons of little babies over here. Back there. Over here on this uh, clay breeding cave. It's really fun to, to see that happening. So... Hopefully soon I will be able to have Taiwan bees available for you guys, but until I have real success with breeding them and, and a lot of extras, I won't be doing that. So I know people ask me all the time if I'll sell some, and unfortunately the answer um, ends up being no, but uh, at some point we'll make them available. Down below is the other Taiwan bee tank. <coughs> Recently added some more blue bolts from my buddy Carl. Uh, he's got some real nice blue bolts. If you're local here in Minnesota, I highly recommend uh, seeing if you can buy some from him. Or maybe, I don't know if he ships or not, I forget, but uh, he's got just a tank full of them that are um, exploding, breeding like crazy, so that's really good news for the hobby. Um, so yeah, um, things are going well in here. There are some babies in here as well. Trying to find some. Well, here's one. Not as many, but there are some scattered throughout. <coughs> Excuse me. So hopefully we'll get some good breeding going on here too and just expand this colony. Get one more look over here. It's just so hard to not show these guys. It's just kind of cool. Have all these different colors in one tank. But anyway, we'll move over and check out some of the tigers and neos. <clears throat> so up above here are some of the uh, savage reds that I have. There's not many left, um, and that's unfortunate, but um, what I finally realized was going on in some of these tanks where I'm losing shrimp is that my pH was way too high. Something's causing it to creep up because it's coming out of, the water's coming out of the RO um, filter just fine. But, um, in all my tanks without buffered substrate, it does tend to go up pretty high. So uh, what I'm trying now, um, in talking with my buddy Rob at Flip Aquatics, was um, adding KH to my RO water for all these uh, non-buffered tanks. And hopefully that's going to um, stabilize the pH. So it's affected some tanks, others it hasn't. As you can see, this tank here, <clears throat> Royal Blue Tigers, they're thriving. Um, people are coming to me looking for these all the time, and I do sell them, so if you're looking for Royal Blue Tigers, hit me up. And when I say, um, you know, get in touch with me, the easiest way, I've got an email uh, that I always put uh, in the description of these videos, so you can email me there, or if you know me on Facebook, uh, hit me up there too. <laughs> But yeah, they're doing good as always. This colony's thriving. Well over a hundred in here. Constant turnover with babies, so as you can see, all sizes. Got to get a better light on this tank so you can really see the true colors of these guys. But uh, they're doing good. There's a couple uh, rillies in there too, red rillies. Um, but yeah, with the boost right here, doing really nice too. So down below is another tank that's uh, 
been affected by the pH from what I can tell and that's the tank that I had my painted fire reds and my tigers in. There's a few painted fire reds scattered uh, throughout but uh, the tiger population has greatly dwindled which is unfortunate <clears throat> but we will rebuild as they say. Um, crystal blacks are doing good over here sold off quite a few of these but I do have a decent sized colony still going and uh, they're breeding fairly regularly so that's good news and down here are the aura blue tigers they're doing good um, I had three buried females and I don't see any berries on any of them now. I could be wrong. It's always hard to tell looking for the viewfinder on the camera. But so I think they've all had their babies, so I'm going to start keeping my eyes open for babies. So they're doing good. Green jades are doing great. <clears throat> uh, I've got these available for sale right now. Tons of them in here. If you're looking for green jades, hit me up. Red tigers are pretty much all gone. They, they were affected by the pH problem as well. There's a few rillies in here that uh, were stragglers from when I had red rillies in this tank a long time ago. And then the blue dreams above too, same thing. But I did uh, recently add a few more blue dreams to the tank, so once I get this pH deal under control, hopefully things will go good there, but you can see some of them. Some there. So I'm back on the filters too, so yeah. And we'll just quickly go upstairs, show you the last two tanks in the office here. Start down below with uh, my um, tangerine tigers. So There's just a couple out now. Um, there's the one big adult back there. I picked up some new ones lately, or recently I should say. And so they're all still kind of getting acclimated. I had lost most of my tangerines. <clears throat> but so far, no deaths on the new ones, so that's good. Hopefully get some breeding going. And then final tank over here. It's going to be the yellow Neos. Kind of the same story as always with these. Um, they're not dying off or anything. Slow breeding. See some babies from time to time. Not a ton though. So I'm just kind of being patient with them as well. But got a decent sized colony going. So that's about it for now. I uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Um, uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, I'd like it if you'd subscribe, that'd be great. Um, I do regular updates on my shrimp tanks as well as my fish tanks and my reef tank. Post videos on aquatic related type stuff uh, as often as I can as well. So. Uh, make sure you subscribe and join the party. Um, also make sure you check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook and check out the Aquatic Support Community Facebook group as well as Fish Keepers Classifieds. And uh, all the members of Team Aquatic Support, their uh, YouTube channel links will be below. Alright, until next time, thanks for watching.